What do you do when you've been invited to hop on a Zoom call? Or have you ever clicked that Zoom invite link, if you can find it, only to discover that you're stuck in the waiting room? I've got answers for you. Hi there, I'm Betsy. And in this video, I'll show you that joining a Zoom meeting is easy and that you can hop on smoothly without any stress. Stick around because I'll also share a few quick tips in case your invite link doesn't work. Okay, let's go take a look. So it all starts here inside your email inbox where you've been sent an email with a Zoom meeting invite link. And it's that long link right there where you see HTTPS colon slash slash and all of those characters after that. Well, Zoom has sent you an invite link that gets you connected to the host's meeting just by one click. Now, when you get these emails, it's a good recommendation to save the link to your calendar invite like this. Here's a great tip to save the link when it comes into your inbox so you'll never lose it. We're gonna add it to a calendar event inside your Google Calendar. So what you do first is you need to copy that link so that you can paste it over there in your Google Calendar. Now watch, you just right click on the invite link in the pop-up menu, just click copy. Now go over to a calendar event. So you're just gonna create a new event inside your calendar. And if you use Outlook, go over there and create a new event in your calendar or if you're using your Mac calendar, same thing. And in the event, you're gonna add your title of your Zoom meeting, whatever the title is. And then in the location, this is where the magic happens. You're going to right click there and paste. And that long link represents the location of where this event is happening. And yes, it's virtual. And then all you do once you save the event, it lands on your calendar. Look at that. And it's lit up. All you have to do is click the link like this. And then in the event pop-up, click the link again to join. So the next thing you see is this message that says, hey, can we open zoom.us? That is exactly what you want. Zoom.us is not necessarily a website that you're going to, but from the website, you are directed back to your Zoom Workplace application, which is installed on your computer. And so all you do here is click open zoom.us. So at this point, as you can see in the message, it is saying that upon clicking, you have agreed to join the meeting and there's some agreement there. You don't have to click there. You can if you're curious. But where it says join from workplace app, here is what's very important is that if right now you are not seeing the host's waiting room or meeting room, because if they don't have a waiting room set, you would be on your way into their meeting room. And Zoom is asking you to verify that your video is on or your audio is on, and you can test your speakers and your microphone. And that is from the Zoom Workplace app. Now, if you're not seeing that, then you want to go here to make sure you have your Zoom Workplace downloaded correctly. So from here at zoom.us slash download, you get the download center and you get the Zoom Workplace app for free. You want to make sure that before you join someone else's meeting, you want to make sure you have this application installed on your computer. Now, as of this recording, I am recording on a Mac computer and therefore the download page says Zoom Workplace for Mac. If you're doing this from your Windows computer, it will say from Windows. And then just click the appropriate button for the type of computer you're using. If you need more information about this, we have a great video on how to update your Zoom. And don't worry, even if it's updating, it still shows you how to get Zoom for the first time. And you can get that here. If for some reason that link doesn't work, it's possible that you're being prompted for the passcode for the meeting. You see, in some cases, when you're entering someone's Zoom meeting, depending on their settings, you are prompted for the meeting ID. So you see in this email, in the email invite, along with the meeting link, you're also given the meeting ID. It's that 11 digit exclusive and unique 
meeting ID for just your Zoom meeting that you're hopping on, you might be prompted to put that in. So it's a good idea to save that information, especially the passcode, which you can see here, the passcode is an exclusive six digit code. So make sure that when you're saving that to your calendar, you're also saving that information in the body of the event and you'll be set. That will bring you inside the Zoom meeting something like this. But as a participant, your toolbar is going to be slightly different. And if you need some more help or a tutorial on how to use all of these buttons inside your Zoom meeting, we've got a great video called The Complete Beginner's Guide, and you can find that here. From the Zoom Workplace home screen, you can manually enter that meeting ID here using the Join button. When you click there, you're prompted to enter the meeting ID. And the meeting ID is that 11 digit meeting ID that you've been sent by the host, the person hosting the Zoom call. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna enter that meeting ID here as shown. In the next box, you can customize how you want your name to show up. This is going to show up underneath your live video feed, whether you have your video on or off, your name is displayed inside the Zoom meeting as a participant. These two checkboxes below let you say, well, hey, when I connect, I don't want my video on. You will be able to turn it on, but when I enter, I don't want it on. This other checkbox to don't connect to audio, that means that your microphone will not be working at all. So I recommend you keep that unchecked and then click join. On the next screen, you will be prompted to test where your microphone is coming from, what source. And then from the webcam option on the right, you can select which webcam you're using and then click join. You will then enter the host's Zoom meeting room. If for some reason that host has turned on the waiting room, then you will be shown that the host has either yet to start the meeting or has started the meeting and has been notified that you're there. Once you get here into the Zoom meeting room, you are good to go. And that's it. Now you know how to join a Zoom meeting even when you're not the host. If you found this helpful, make sure to like this video, subscribe for more Zoom tips, and drop a comment if you've ever been stuck in a waiting room wondering, am I in the right place? I'll see you in the next video.